Hello, um, this is Brianna Bodwin, and this is my presentation for my cultural event experience. So let me just pull up my PowerPoint here. Okay, so um, okay, so for this event, I attended a it was a weekly sermon for this church, but um, this one was special because it focused on prophetics and the gift of prophecy. So this was held at Faith Christian Family Church in Clovis um, on Sunday, November 10th at 11 a.m. Um, I was invited to this by a pastor. Um, my daughter actually goes to the daycare that's within the church. Um, they're kind of interconnected, but not really. You know, you don't have to be a member of the church to attend. Um, so the differences from my culture, um, the churches that I went to whenever I was younger were kind of more conservative and quiet. Um, they didn't really do a lot of big flashy things. Um, a lot of them were Catholic or Presbyterian churches. Um, and historically I've had kind of negative experience, experiences with churches. And so, you know, I'm not really religious. I guess you could say I'm an atheist, um, throughout the years since I've been a child. And, um, you know, I'm very respectful of religion for others, but it's just not something that's for me. So um, I expected to be a little bit uncomfortable with this. Um, so my reflections on this experience, um, their praise and worship section was overwhelming. It's not like anything that I have ever experienced before. Um, you know, everything was super flashy and in your face, and um, it was really fun. Um, I was very comfortable with that. Um, I tried to kind of sing along, but I didn't really know any of the songs. And, um, you know, I was just surprised with how much it was geared towards a younger generation. Um, and the pastor started talking about, about prophetics, which um, made me kind of uncomfortable. So basically what the topic was about was people who this particular church believes to um, receive messages from God that they are supposed to relate to people on earth. Um, you know, they say that some of them are auditory and some of them are visual. Um, and this really kind of made me uncomfortable because I kind of like to consider things from a science perspective and science would probably say that these people were having you know, visual and auditory hallucinations. So I didn't really know what to think about that. Um, and this is an interdenominational church, which means they kind of welcome everybody of all denominations of Christianity. Um, and they don't really focus on the specific uh, traditions of one religion. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit of everything, I guess. It was very unfamiliar for me, but um, I was really impressed by the things that the pastor talked about as his priorities. Um, he talked a lot about how uh, he didn't care if people were conservative or Republican or, you know, Democrat and liberal. And he just wanted to see what people brought to them regarding Jesus, which um, in a lot of churches I've been in, the pastors have advocated for a conservative viewpoint. So that was kind of interesting for me as well. Um, mostly, I just love seeing how how much these people connected with their religion and how spiritual they were. It was very interesting for me. Um, you could tell that they were very firm in their faith. Um, and it was really nice to see how they were all kind of one big family and they were very welcoming. Um, after the service, um, I went with a acquaintance of mine to, um, it was basically a prayer group, but they call them life groups. And I got to ask them some questions about their beliefs and things like that. And they were all very willing to share their perspectives with me. Um, they did show me this, this certain form that they use for their scripture readings. Um, it's called SOAP, which I thought was interesting because we do SOAP notes in classes for social work. Um, the S is for scripture, which is reading the scripture. The O is for observation, which is thinking about what what that means to you. And then application is thinking about how it applies to your life. And then praying is for prayer 
is the P and um, it's just talking about how um, we should pray and kind of have a two-way conversation with God rather than the, than just you know talking to God and not listening what he to what he has to say so um yeah this is a tool that I guess the church likes each of their life groups to use um so that was really interesting and then so application to practice um in the code of ethics standard 1.05c says that social workers should obtain education about and seek to understand the nature of social diversity and oppression with respect to all areas of culture and it lists you know like gender sexuality religion race all of those but um, i didn't want to <laughs> rattle off all of them but um i think this was a great opportunity for me to seek to understand um faith and how that's important to clients and how it can be supportive to them because personally to me i wouldn't think that that's something that's um really useful in being a support system but now i can definitely see where clients are coming from whenever their church communities are very important to them and are a positive force for them um it was nice to see the loving side of this church and how welcoming they were of people and um, the first part of the service was they were doing baby dedications and it was really nice to see the entire church pray for these ch the, these children um you know these little newborns and um it was kind of nice to hear about how they'd have this huge support system behind them you know throughout their lives hopefully um yeah and like i said i just really love seeing the spirituality of these people and how important this was to them and so i think personally uh, i'm gonna stop sharing now i think personally it, it was a real learning experience for me and i think that it's something that i will consider deeply obviously i'm still not religious um but you know it's it really gave me a bigger understanding of the fact that some churches can be really positive for people um even though that hasn't been my experience so yeah it was a really great experience for me